Hey folks, JD here. And just before we get into today's playthrough, I just want to say a very, very big heartfelt thank you from us, the band, to everybody that has supported us in this debut album and short story release. Now, today marks exactly one week since we did release it, and it has surpassed any and all expectations that we that, that, that we had for this album. So a genuine heartfelt thank you from us to you for giving us your time and support. After putting this album together, spending so long on it and getting it exactly how how we wanted it. You thought I'd be sick of it by now, but I, all I want to do since it's been released is play these tracks. So I thought I'd play these tracks, make a little sort of mini bass playthrough on some of them and, and, and see whether they're well received or not. So today we're going to be playing track seven, which is otherwise known as Sadness Into Madness. It's our instrumental track just after halfway through the album. And at this particular point in the story, uh, the specimen finds out that they've been experimented on. Um, they are really not happy with the outcome. It was a slight understatement. They've been uh, turned into this mechanical being f powered by flames. And they they basically take out... They're, 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 they're crushingly sad. And then they take out their aggression in the madness part. So the sadness part of the track would be the classical elements. And the madness part would be when the, 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 when the band kicks in. Just over halfway through. We're going to be playing on a five string bass on one string on the bottom A and we're going to be, be rocking three notes which just repeat themselves right the way through the track. The first part of the metal track has got a slight change to the second part but that is a very simple change. The track splits from 4-4 four, four time, it splits into 2-4 and then goes back into 4-4 four, four, whereas after the drum break and or, or drum solo you've then got the second part of the track where that 2-4 doesn't show. It's 4-4 four, four right the way from there to, to, to the end. The song isn't written in a complicated way, it's not meant to be complicated. All this bass track does is it grabs the time, it grabs the track and it pushes it forward. There's nothing show-offy and that's what I love about it. I love a simple bass line that just comes in, does what it needs to do and then it just sods off at the end. It's perfect. So as we go in through this album, hopefully we're going to be releasing more of these videos in due time. Some of the tracks get very, very complicated. You, you, we're shifting power chords, we're up and down sliding, we've got dead notes, but all of that, uh, all of that to come in, in hopefully in the next few, next few weeks, next few months. So today we're just going to concentrate on sadness to madness. Let's have a little look. And that's literally it. It's as easy as that. But I find it quite nice to play. Now today I was just, I plugged my, my bass directly into the door. There were no plugins, nothing at all. It was just very nice, very basic. If you add a couple of really, really sort of Sunno style or Meshuga style um, plugins to this track, it really booms. Especially because we're playing dr directly on the low end of that five string. Really sounds lovely. Well, folks, if you've got this far, thank you ever so much for watching. If you've got any comments, please hit us up underneath. We will reply to them. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for your ongoing support. And we shall see you soon.